हेलो लर्नर्स आई एम डॉक्टर एस के सूर्यवंशी असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर ऑफ कम्युनिकेशन स्किल डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ ह्यूमैनिटीज एंड साइंसेस वर्चिन इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी सोलापुर टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अ टॉपिक एस ए राइटिंग एट द एंड ऑफ दिस सेशन यू विल बी एबल टू डेमोन्स्ट्रेट एन एस ए स्ट्रक्चर एंड रिप्रेजेंट इट विजुअली before going to start this topic i want to tell essay writing is very important in writing skill it under come in writing skill there are four basic skills if you want to acquire these skills so first you should know what exactly these skills are first listening it is one type of ability to decode the meaning of an audio string then reading is ability to decode the meaning of written string speaking is the ability to encode thoughts and concepts into oral form then writing is an ability to encode thoughts and concept into written form so what is writing writing can be said to be the act of forming symbols making marks on flat surface of some kind writing is a process where symbols have to be arranged according to the certain conventions to form words and words have to arrange to form sentences writing involves encoding of a message of some kind that is we translate our thoughts into language means if you want to uh, start writing first you should know what exactly writing is then in writing skill there are n number of forms we are using to write any language the essay the word essay is also under in writing skill the word essay literally means an attempt and hence essay is the name given to the form of composition which is short attempt on a given subject usually it gives detail of narrative or description of some subjects and information on some subject it is an organized piece of writing including five or more paragraphs it is about one specific topic that has some main points these points are introduced an in introductory paragraph they are supported into body paragraph the essay ends with the conclusion part so now furthermore we should know the characteristics of an good essay a good essay must contain the following characteristics every essay has unity order style personal touch an essay must be the a unity treating in an orderly manner of one subject it should be concisely written and not too long and style should be simple direct and clear and it should be have an individuality and shows the personal touch of the writer to reader then the classification of essay is very important there are majorly four classification or parts of essay first is narrative narrative means a process of skill of telling a story descriptive picture of in words of something that happened reflective essay means a critical analyzing an experience imaginative essay means to inventive and origin so what narrative essays are a narrative essay tells a story in fact narrative is another word for story the narrative essay has the same basic form as most other ex- academic essays it is it allows the writer to be the little more creative than academic essay usually do narrative 
कैन टेल लॉन्ग स्टोरी और जस्ट अ फ्यू मिनट्स वर्थ ऑफ एक्साइटमेंट फॉर एग्जाम्पल द समर एडवेंचर देन वट इज डिस्क्रिप्टिव ऐसे डिस्क्रिप्टिव ऐसे इज अ टाइप ऑफ क्रिएटिव राइटिंग दैट यूज इज स्पेसिफिक लैंग्वेज टू डिपिक्ट अ पर्सन ऑब्जेक्ट एक्सपीरियंस और इवेंट द आइडिया इज टू यूज illustrative language to show reader what the writer want to convey by using descriptive language authors can evoke a mental image in the reader's mind engaging readers and leaving a lasting impression instead of just providing play by play, play narrative the example of descriptive essay is the sunset at the beach then an imaginative essay is a type of creative writing that uses the writer's imagination to create a story or a narrative an imaginative essay can be based on the real life events or experiences and use the writer's imagination to explore different perspectives emotions and outcomes this type of essay allows the writer to use creative techniques such as descriptive language symbols and figurative language to make the story come alive the goal of an imaginative essay is to entertain engage the readers emotion and provide a unique perspective on the topic the example of imaginative essay is do you believe in magic why or why not then last classification is in a reflective essay in a reflective essay a writer basically examines his or her life experiences hence the term reflective the purpose of writing a reflective essay is to provide a platform for the author to not only recount a particular life experiences but to also explore how he or she has changed or learned from those experiences reflective writing can be presented in various format but you shall not or you will most often see it in learning long format or diary entries diary entries in a particular are used to convey how the author's thoughts have developed and evolved over the course of particular period the example of reflective essay is once more to the lake is reflective say written by e b white now how can we write an a essay first there are three parts of writing essay introduction main body and conclusion in introduction begins with the general statements leading to the thesis statement some quotations are there rhetorical questions are there so statistic data is there some facts are there then main body in main body we have three paragraphs in first paragraph provide the evidences in second paragraph mention the apogic agreements and in third paragraph in additions another reason or more authentic information you may provide or you may write and last conclusion summarize the major point conclude with the strong statements in introduction a introduction is a opening statement sentences containing some general components or comments about the subject a quotation is there it is related to that topic a question an opinion and interesting facts are there then main body first topic it is related to the main paragraph the main theme your paragraph should be flow naturally into one another connection each should be the topic specific preferably with the introductory sentences each sentence state the content the context and then some supporting example which is where the references come in the last sentence concludes the paragraph and move to the next then conclusion conclusion means it is a summarized statement don't introduce anything again or new draw in the introduction 
give us a, a sense of completeness, leave a final impression. It is an example. Listen, in introduction, I put one quotation, which is all of us do not have equal talent, but all of us have equal opportunity to develop our talent. It is an autobiography written by E.P.J. Abdul Kalam, President of India. So, in this essay, introduction, then first paragraph, second paragraph, third paragraph and conclusion. For this topic, I have taken some references. Thank you and good day my dear learners.